great so our 22nd topic is global exception handler in this i am going to talk about two important points what you have to do and i am also going to talk about what are the important areas that i have to that you have to look at so let's get started now anyone who is very very new who doesn't have a idea on gl uh, global exception handler so what you do simply type global exception handler on uipath and you would find one of my video uipath global exception handler okay with easy explanation for 24 minutes i have actually given lot of in detail explanation you should watch it now let's say you have got good idea then you must go through this documentation i have highlighted few important points let's go through that okay we will go through this document together so the first one the very first line the global exception handler is a type of workflow designed to determine the project's behavior when encountering an execution error. So global exception should be used in simple words. Anytime there is an error encountered in your project where you did not use a uh, exception handling mechanism. So this global exception handler will pick that and do the execution how you have set it. So let's have a quick look at the global exception handler. So this is how the global exception handler looks and you generally enable it by hitting on the new and global handler. Now this has got multiple different options continue, ignore, retry and abort. If that exception comes what exactly would you like to do ok. So have a deep look on this specific one or else go through my video so that you have a complete understanding of this one first ok before jumping onto the documentation ok. So there is one important point. Only one global exception handler can be set per automation project. This is one important point, make a note. Okay. Now the second important point, the global exception handler is not available for library projects. So any project which is a library, it's only available for processes. When you go to here, there are multiple things, right? So for library projects, it's not available. It's only available for processes. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. So this is also another point, only process it's telling you here. Okay, so please make a note of the second important point. All right, now the next one, the global exception handler has two arguments that should not be removed. Okay, very important, that should not be removed. So what are those arguments? This is the third important point. So let's see those arguments. So if you open global exception handler, click on arguments. Okay. So these are the two different arguments. One is the error info. Okay. And the other one is result. These are the two different arguments you must not delete. One, the error info, which is supposed to catch the error information. Okay. Which has an indirection. So it will get the information from the main project and result which is a out direction error action right what error action it has to take so this is how it is configured okay for example here we are saying result equals to error action dot retry error action dot abort okay so that is the result variable these are the two arguments you must not delete important point okay first is error info the second one is result one has an in direction the other one has a out direction okay now the result has got multiple different properties that you can set for example, here by default it is written error action dot retry and it retries for three times. Okay, if you look at the retry would happen three times. It, it, you can change it depending on your requirement, but by default it is three times. And here it is saying error action dot retry. Okay, error action dot retry, error action dot abort. So these are the two options by default used. You can also go for other options. For example, continue, for example, ignore, for example, retry. Okay, these are the five different options available so here it is important for you to have to know the definition of all of this okay error action dot continue if you write what would happen if you write continue means what the exception is rethrown people will think continue means it will go to the next activity so you might choose a wrong answer continue means the exception is rethrown to the parent or uh, to the main project where if you have a parent try catch block it is going to catch that exception okay so it is rethrown um, and then ignore means what the ex ignore means it will ignore that error and continue to the next activity okay these are the two areas you must remember okay retry retry means the activity which through the exception is retried the activity on which we got the exception it will be retried and how many times it will be retried 
by default is three time okay use the retry count method for error info to count the number of times the uh, activity is retried about about means what the execution stops after running the current global execution so it will stop okay about means it will stop now another important point in global exception handler what is that look at this note any workflow may be flagged as a global exception handler in studio except the library project this i have already told you the global exception handler retries the activity three times and then aborts with with an error message okay so this information i have informed you um, yeah this is actually the point i i am i was trying to highlight this is very important point okay look at it i am going to explain you when using global exception handler with project that includes a try catch let's say in your main project you have a try catch exception block in the try you have the luxury of having each of the activities separately like one activity after that another activity another activity so like that directly within the try container you can put it so what exactly it is saying make sure to group activities into sequence let's say in the try there are five activities all those five activities you have to group within a sequence means within the sequence container you should keep all those activities why if you do not keep the global exception handler does not execute okay so look read this sentence very important sentence make sure to group activities into a sequence inside the try container otherwise the global exception handler does not execute so if you know this if any questions comes you will be able to answer okay now the uh, in, uh, the same explanation in this case of nested activities the global exception handler executes for each activity in the call stack however it does not execute uh, for activities directly encapsulated in a uh, try catch unless they are contained in an activity okay so these are the important points that i have explained uh, read through that uh, understand all of it uh, so this is what you need to prepare in the global exception handler okay so my video is also very important 24 minutes so i have explained lot many things how do you use them in different scenarios and all that so for all those options strike continue ignore so please go through that video okay i have created a long back so definitely go through this video and it is going to help you and go through all the points that i have explained so thank you guys let's meet on our next uh, next video bye bye